what is agronomy? If you asked a uh, hundred different agronomists what an agronomist was, they'd give you a hundred different answers. You know, the best way I can, I can describe it is that we're in the business of growing a healthy plant. You know, everything from the, the soils to the, the biotic and abiotic stresses, all the elements that create a healthy crop. We do a lot of soil sampling, fertility recommendations. Selling seed, chemical, fertilizer, scouting fields throughout the season for them. If there's anything agricultural that needs to be addressed on the farm, if I don't know the answer, I go and help them find it. Our mission is to be a trusted advisor to a farmer, which is a very sacred thing in the business of agriculture. When I go and talk to a grower about carbon intensity, most of them have heard of it in some way, shape, or form. Some are skeptical because they don't know much about it. It's very new, so they don't have a lot of information. That's where we come into play as far as helping guys maneuver through this space because it is so new. With GEVO and this growers program, this is working with you to understand and benchmark the carbon intensity of your crop on a field-by-field -field basis and then incentivize you to make changes as it works on your farm. Figure out what works for you, what doesn't, but if it seems to be something that can work on your farm, let's put it into practice. Whether it's strip till, no-till, minimal till, vertical till, I firmly believe it helps the soil health. Better soil structure leads to better soil health, which leads to higher yields and less input cost. I think they get the concept of, if I have a lower CI score, I'm doing better things for the environment, and in turn, that'll create revenue opportunities for a farm. Those are the light bulbs that are going off of, hey, when I do the right things for my crops on my farm, the economics follow. The farmers are, they're getting excited about it, especially if they're getting rewarded for the practice that they're already doing. I have had conversations with growers before about them potentially being able to sell their grain at a higher price with a lower CI score. They do like the idea of that. I think as far as carbon scores go, that is that next frontier. The possibilities are almost endless 10 years down the road as to where this leads us.